Tell me uh, the character you play and, and what's his kind of role in the plot. Uh, his name is Lenny. He's a London black cabbie, um, a Yank. And uh, I did some research. There's two American cab drivers that we found so far. Um, uh, and an Australian, to boot. Um, and he's uh, kind of a nemesis of uh, Omid's character, Mahmoud. Uh, they run into each other on the street uh, in their cars, and I almost cause him to rear-end me. Do you say that here? <laughs> yeah, well, we get it. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we, he's kind of yelling at each other, and then we become kind of enemies. And I, I, I get his car towed, and we become like battling in the street. And then when he finds out that he's actually adopted and he's Jewish, I'm the only Jewish character he knows. So he comes to me to learn how to be Jewish. And I'm not the most traditionally Jewish person around. So I have my own way of teaching him. But we go through the, a journey together. And uh, actually, it's kind of a heartwarming relationship in the end. But it's very funny. You know that in America too, but particularly in Britain, there is a huge amount of tension around anything to do with Islam, partly because there has been this history of homegrown terrorism. Were there any concerns for you in taking on the role? Um, was there anything that, in playing the role, has, has surprised you or, or you didn't know before? Anything that concerned me first? No. Um, no. Uh, uh, nothing surprised me, really. I, I, I was, I, you know, presently uh, uh, c confirmed my suspicion that... Uh, People from all over the world and all, uh, from all religions, and uh, th this set is fantastic because there are people from everywhere, including Bulgaria, <laughs> and uh, uh, and that's been fantastic. And it, and uh, speaking to a lot of Islamic uh, 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 people from various places, Pakistan and and um, and Malaysia and uh, and North Africa, and uh, you know, I mean, we're all just people, and it's, I'm grew up in New York City and around different ethnicities and religions and I never had an issue about that. So uh, no surprises here except how incredibly pleasant uh, everyone is. Um, that's always somewhat surprising, but it has nothing to do with ethnicity or religion. I did have a, I, I had a driver com uh, coming here to the set one day who was from Pakistan and uh, I talk, had a long talk with him about, um, you know, he's from Islamabad. and and about uh, the Taliban and what he, what he thinks of the situation there, and you know, very serious talk. And at one point I said, I asked him if, if, if Ahmed Jalili and, um, and David Badil did a, a teamed up work, uh, stand up throughout the, the Middle East and Asia, would we have peace in the world? And he thought, yeah. So I'm gonna recommend it to the both of them. But then he started saying, he said, where am I from? And I said, well, from New York, but I live in LA. And he went, Baywatch? <laughs> and I went, yeah, he goes, Pamela Anderson, I like this Pamela Anderson. And then he went on to talk about body parts for quite a while, which I won't get into. Uh, but it was the funniest, just, you know, juxtaposition of conversations from talking about whether Islamic uh, fundamentalism will win out in Pakistan to Baywatch. <laughs> uh, you know, so people in the end are, are, are just people, and, and that's what you got to love about them, yeah? Um, the one thing David Badil said was he, he saw this as a kind of body swap movie and, and that the fact that it was sort of about religion wasn't really the point. Um, I mean, how, how do you view it? Body swap meaning like trading places? Yeah, yeah or I, 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 I had it in, I had it out with David Badil about that because it's not really trading places. It's one person trading places. But I don't get to be Muslim in this movie. Uh, that'll be the sequel, I guess. Um, and what do I think about that? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, we always learn about ourselves when we get into the most uh, um, unusual positions and when our image of ourselves gets completely turned upside down. And that happens, hopefully, to us in many, many uh, important moments in our life. And we kind of look ourselves in the mirror and go, well, I, that's not who I thought I was. I'm actually better or worse than what I thought or and something has to change or I'm glad I did change or whatever. And that's the position that uh, Mahmoud finds himself in, and that uh, all of a sudden all his, his paradigms, his whole belief system is challenged. Everything he took for granted is challenged and turned upside down, and he ends up in a better place as a result. He ends up with a greater understanding of who he is, of the religion that he ultimately accepts, and of his uh, heritage.
um, and accepting of all of it, despite many obstacles, uh, comic obstacles. Um, David, but you'll also claim that this isn't a political movie. Um, but I just wondered, in the current climate, um, on the one hand, where there's been a lot of fear and sensitivity around doing anything about Islam and Judaism, and on the other, where you have you know, President Obama making this you know, important speech in Cairo and reaching out, um, do you think that making a film like this now perhaps carries a greater significance, might be seen differently by an audience, say, in America? Uh, I think it's long overdue. Um, uh, to, to have a movie that challenges uh, the way we look at religion and the way we... Here's an interesting point about how bad I think it is. Uh, you know when, when Senator McCain, uh, in that famous video where that woman stood up and said, I think Obama is a Muslim, and McCain was lauded throughout the American press and probably na internationally uh, for standing up for Obama. And everyone kind of took for granted that he did the right thing. Do you remember what he said? He said, no, 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 uh, Barack Obama is not a Muslim. He's a good American. He's a father. He's a family man. And he got applauded for saying this because he's, the action was to stand up f for him and to, and to deny the, these rumors that were going around the Internet that Obama was actually... Muslim, and what was the language he used? No, he's not a Muslim, he's an American. He's a good American. Not a Muslim, a good American. And that's uh, uh, unbelievable to me that no one picked up on it, the press didn't talk about it. The phrases that he used is indicative of where America is right now and, and their feelings towards, towards, towards a third of the world. Uh, and it blows my mind that that response got applauded, you know. So that's where we are, and we need, and it takes comedy to break it down. Well, I mean, hopefully other factors will help, but, you know, I mean, comedy does break it down, right? And so, uh, you know, I, I, it's one of the reasons why I came over here to work for Beans on Toast, was um, uh, uh, because this, I think it's important, in fact, uh, and does it really well and has a heart. Uh, 